how are your uh, how are your kids through the 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 pandemic? How are your kids through the protests? Because this is probably the first experience they've had at such a I mean even for us really I mean we were too young obviously for like the 90 you know for a different protest or riots that ever went on how how did you explain I mean they're old enough to obviously understand the pandemic but what's been your conversation with your teenage boys about both things that are going on oh it's funny I mean I mean the beauty of it is is they kind of look at me and this whole thing I said I did sit them down one night and I I tried to explain to them as to what's going on why people are out there why they're rioting and why what's happening they're just kind of looking at me and going you know dad what's what's the big deal and i said well there is a big deal he's like but dad we, we don't see you know we're they're just friends it doesn't matter what color they are it doesn't matter they're just our buddies you know or, uh, and they're, they're sort of colorblind in that instance but my my job is to say but buddy you can't be completely colorblind you have to understand that there is a there's a certain amount of the population that has been repressed for a long time, and we need to understand that um, that they're angry and that they're mad, and we we need to understand and educate ourselves. We need to open up our freaking ears and shut our mouths right now, and 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 learn and educate. And I said, even your father has things that he needs to learn. I've been here for a long time on the planet, but I don't know everything. I said, your grandfather said, my dad. He always said that the smartest man in the room was the one that was quiet and listening. He wasn't the one making statements and, and, and uh, there's the, uh, no, I don't think anybody's ever learned anything from making statements. The only way we learn and educate is to listen and to, and, and that's hard for some people to do. Mm-hmm. I know you probably have people in your life that are just always going, yeah, I know. I know. It's a big phrase in our society. I know. I know. Maybe you don't, maybe, maybe you should wise up and, and just, just hear. So I've been doing a lot of listening through this whole thing. And, you know, I like to talk. <laughs> You know, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a communicator, but I think this is just a time to to listen. And my 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 grandmother also also she also told me back in the day when I was a kid. She said, "There's two words that I hate, Eric. Not hate. Uh, she didn't use hate. She said, uh, detest. And she said, it's bored. You never say you're bored. She hate disg- that disgusts her. And we don't hate. You never say you hate. Hate is a bad word. I'd rather you said." the F word or the S word or those other words, there is no room in our family to say, I don't want to hear you say you hate strawberry ice cream. I don't want to hear you say you hate anything. And uh, I, I took that to my kids from a very early age and tried to teach them that that word has no place uh, in our family, in our world, because there's, there's, there's not enough time to hate. You need, you, you need to love. And there's plenty of reasons to love people. You know, okay. No matter where they're from or what they look like everyone has great aspects about themselves. So you got to dig and find those reasons to love instead of just going so quickly to the other side. And wow, it's, did, got, it's got deep. I yeah. love it. I lo- how, did they, how did they respond? Do you feel, because I try to look back when I was, your, your boys are 15? They're 14. They think they're 16, but they're 14. They, they, they look, look like 16. they're 21. <laughs> they look 21. They look like they should like drive a truck to work. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Those are those uh, mark top jeans. They just had their physicals yesterday. One is they're they're 150 pounds and one is six feet and one is five ten. They're monsters. What? And they're fort freaking team. Well, they're swimmers too, right? Because I saw I, you posted something Olympic ish. Yes. Well, they they'd been selected for the ODP, uh, which is the Olympic Development Training Program. Wow. Um, and this, all this momentum was happening in their little water polo career right when the pandemic hit. And since then, they haven't been able to be in the pools and all of the competitions have stopped. So we're struggling to like find ways to keep them in it and keep them, keep them active. They, they're going to high school next year for the first time and they want to play water polo, but we don't even know if that's going to happen. So it's, they had all this momentum going and it just had to stop. But it's funny we, we that we still try to get together with the team and they condition but they do it they distance while they condition like they run up the big sand hill that's off the pch mm-hmm. uh, together and they 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 you know they're trying to maintain a team spirit while trying to stay apart from one another and it's really hard and yeah. it's funny that it's funny that falls right into the whole pandemic thing the way i explained it to them is you know, they're really into team sports right now. And said, well, the reason we got these masks on, buddy, is the same reason why, why you know, NFL players, they wear their helmets uh, 
it's widely known that they're better off wearing this protective gear. And even the coolest and dopest of football players wear their helmets, okay? It's not like the really cool guys and stronger players go out there without a helmet. That's why we put our masks on. Those are our football helmets that we collectively as a team realize uh, we're better off wearing these. Uh, even if we might, I might want to show my hair and you know, it does cover my cool hairstyle and this, but it might save my life. So it's worth it. You have to relate and put things on their, uh, on their level. I mean, another silly example, I walked into Chase's room. He's just been watching all the Avenger movies. Like he he just watches from the beginning to the end, like the first Iron Man to the, to the last, uh, whatever it is. And, uh, I walked in, I'm like, wow, you know what, you know what I see in common with all these superheroes? A lot of them have masks on, man. Isn't it funny that these kids, the, 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 the number one guy they admire most in their superhero world is Iron Man, who wears a giant mask. So I'm like, buddy, don't, don't ever think that wearing this thing out in public makes you weak by any means, because uh, I think the toughest, coolest, flyest bros out there uh, wear masks. So don't worry about it. And uh, since then, we were, we, went, we were at Bass Lake, actually, this, this past weekend, and it was lovely. We got, got away, and, and uh, without even having to ask them, we walked out of the, the little cabin or whatever and they had their masks on, you know, and I didn't even have to say, Oh, get, get your mask. They, they put it on without me saying a thing, which, which was a little proud moment for Lisa and I would kind of look at each other because it was a, because it was an issue before yeah. it's uncomfortable. You know why, you know, why did come on? You know, I've heard things on, on uh, social media that we don't need to anymore. And all this misinformation going, that's another thing, Freddie. It is. I just want, an unbiased news source just give me the facts and and just you get so many different opinions and, and misinformation going on right now i just I want the truth you know just tell yeah. us the truth. hey there thank you so much for stopping by our channel and checking out a clip of the freddie and Alyssa show be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future clips or highlights from the freddie and Alyssa show And if you want full episodes of the Freddie and Alyssa show, vlogs, and one-off videos, check out our main YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Again, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next video.